There are many reasons that teachers may want to create their own video content or screencast. Teachers may want to do this to flip direct instruction, to chunk lessons, to demonstrate skills and strategies, to provide reminders, and more. One way to create original video content is to use PowerPoint to add narration in order to create a screencast. You can use the PowerPoint presentation that you create to house or organize content that you want to share with students. To add narration to your presentation, go to the Recording tab and select Record Slideshow. You can choose to record from the beginning or from a specific slide. Once the recording window opens, you can use the controls to record your narration. Hit Record to begin. Notice that while you are recording, you can view the notes for the notes section of the current slide. This is helpful if you like to script your recording ahead of time. While recording, you can also access the annotation tools at the bottom of the screen to use as appropriate. These tools allow a teacher to write on the screen to highlight important information for students. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll also notice that you have the ability to mute your microphone as well as to enable video which allows you to record with your webcam in addition to displaying content on your screen. The settings tab in the top right corner also allows you to see which camera and microphone you are set to use or adjust your settings as necessary. Once you have finished your recording, click stop. You can narrate and record one slide at a time or you can use the arrows to navigate back and forth between slides as you record. You can also click the pause button if necessary to stop momentarily to gather your thoughts as needed. Once you have finished your recording, you can click stop and then click the X in the top right corner to return to your presentation. This will allow you to see that an audio has been added to your screen. You'll now see the audio icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen indicating that your narration has been added. You can repeat this process as needed. When finished, you can save the presentation as a PowerPoint file or as an MP4 video file. PowerPoint files are ideal for students or end users that are using desktop office or if the files are being shared through Schoology with an Office 365 share link. Video files such as MP4s are preferable for Chromebook users as they are ideal for uploading to Schoology as a file. This way, the file can easily be viewed by students without having to download and re-upload to PowerPoint Online. To save the presentation as a video, click File, Save As, and Browse, just like you normally would. But before saving, adjust the Save File Type drop-down menu to select MPEG-4 video with MP4 in parentheses. Teachers can then upload the file in Schoology by going to Add Materials, Add File, and selecting the video file. It is best to keep videos short and specific to ensure easy access.